my crafty scrappy friends welcome to this month's edition of the iron crafter where each month tara from the paper snob and i take a item that we have on our special secret list and challenge our friends to come up with a way to use those items and usually it is more than one just one thing um it's not a tool it's more of like a usable thing that's an embellishment or some sort of item that you might use and then have sitting around in your craft room that you want to use again, but you just don't have really any inspiration to use it. So for the month of June, um, this, don't forget this hop takes place on the, we were doing the last Friday, but now we're gonna start in July doing the next to last Friday. I think it's the third Friday because the last Friday has a whole bunch of other hops that go on. So starting July, it'll be the third Friday, but this month it's the fourth. Um, we will, this month, in the month of June, we are looking at brads, eyelets, and buttons. And I will say I have been having some fun using my eyelets as, um, embellishments. Oh, and I do want to show you a way that I've used. So instead of doing a actual, how to do an actual page kind of presentation on this video, I'm going to do kind of an overview of different ways that I've used the items in my crafting. So I use eyelets, or I'm sorry, brads, um, this month on this layout, I just treated them kind of like you would enamel dots and to add a little bit of color and a little bit of bling or a little bit of dimension to my page. So there's one page that I did. Here's another page I just created um, to celebrate my son's 11th birthday. And I just used an a brad instead of um, gluing the tag on here. I just stuck it through the tag uh, hole and stuck that through my thing. Now it kind of has this little bit of movement and dimension. It doesn't have to stick to the page and I don't have to worry about string. Um, so I thought that was really cute um, way to use those brads. I also used brads way back at the beginning of this year I was doing um, pages for my, these are why I bought the brads in the first place. Um, and you can't just buy like a few brads on Amazon. You have to buy like a thousand. So I bought this um, set, which I had to put them in this box, but you can see, do not flip, this has brads in it. But um, I sorted them out by color, but all of these came in one kit, one little package, probably less than $5 for the package of all those brads. So. But I used them to create these little um, spinny things on here so that you can interact with the page. See, you don't have to put your pages in a page protector. They can live outside the page protector. And that gives you a little bit of, of movement and interactivity in your album. So um, that's another way that I have used some brads in my layouts. Um, I haven't really used eyelets a lot. They tend to need to use um, a special tool. I have to use my crocodile for it to create the holes, but I have created a couple of these altered books, I suppose you would call them. Um, I use my scrapbook paper and some, uh, and I stapled, I bought a long arm, a long handle stapler. I watched a couple of videos on uh, YouTube on how to do this cut up a whole bunch of my scrapbook paper. This is a great way to use up scrapbook paper, but the eyelet part comes into play because the eyelet has to use, um, you have to have a setter for your eyelet. And mine, I use my crocodile. Um, so, I'll show you my book binding kit. These are my eyelets and um, my crocodile will cut the hole, cut the hole, punch the hole, and then also can set the eyelet. But you can, most eyelets will come with like a little tool if you buy them in a package. They come with something like this and you can just hammer it and it will smash basically the backside of this eyelet and then that creates the part that holds, creates the hole. So you can see how it's been sort of smashed flat. It didn't work perfectly on these, um, but it worked well enough for me to be able to put my elastic through 
the hole. So as long as you have, it's creating a, uh, it's smashing it flat enough to be able to uh, run your elastic through it, it works pretty well. So these are the books that I've created. Um, I basically, yes, I bought some old books. Yes, I ripped the insides out. Yes, because I really wanted just the firm uh, hardcover. I really just wanted the cover. Uh, I actually also did it with, this is what was the first one I did because I wanted to create a book to keep track of all the books that I was reading. And I have been reading a lot of books, but I have not yet put anything on my in my journal about the books, but you can see where I put those eyelids on here with my crocodile actually has a way to smush them just the same way that you would with a hole punch. But when you're putting that pressure on there, it's flattening out your, um, your eyelet. So for this one, um, I just created two, created my signatures, and then used the extra little piece of elastic to go across there. But I have two up here, one for each of the um, signatures that I wanted to put in, which are these little booklets of paper. And um, who is it? Lyric Lover Crafts, I think, that has an excellent tutorial on how to create these books, um, basically from hers are not gutted um, books like this, um, but that was from a different video that I watched. So I watched a book on oh, album, uh, I watched a video on how to gut a book, which wasn't really that bad. And then I watched another video on how to create the books that went inside that used the signatures with the elastic instead of having to stitch them. So you can see that's a place that you can use eyelets. Eyelets are really handy if you wanna be able to put holes in something. Um, if you wanted to create a stitch or run some string or some ribbon yarn something through your page maybe you have a piece of lace or something that uh, means a lot to you because it's part of that memory maybe it's a maybe it's a wedding album and you want to um, remember the lace or the a piece of the fabric that was used on the on the wedding dress you could use eyelets and you can buy different size ones they make them a lot bigger um, I'm not really sure the difference between an eyelet and a grommet. I think a grommet might have a piece that goes on the back that actually punches, um, also bends to wrap around it, but I'm not really sure. So maybe grommet's just bigger, I don't know. Um, or using a different technique. So those are how I use eyelets, uh, have used them so far. And then I don't really use buttons a whole lot because I typically don't really like to have um, adding a lot of extra um, bulk to my pages so I won't typically use a lot of things like that but I'm sure some of the other folks who are hopping along will be using some um, buttons in their iron craft videos so be sure to go check out the other folks who are hopping on this iron crafter hop I did use one little button right there um, today and there are going there will be a playlist in the description below as, long, as well as a link if you are interested in these um, brads that I purchased. I will leave a link to my Amazon store down there for you. There's a playlist of all the other people who are hopping. If you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and maybe if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that I know that uh, you appreciate my videos and that you want to hear some more. Thank you so much. I will see you next month for the next Iron Crafter. And by the way, that next Iron Crafter item is gonna be announced on the first. And um, I do have an event posted in my Facebook group for Peace Craft Love. If you're interested in playing along, you don't have to post a video, you don't have to post on Instagram. You can just play along in the group and post to the group with your uh, photo of whatever it is that you did. All right. I'll do some slowdowns, close-ups of these items, and see you at the end. Bye!